Hey everybody, uh, it's it's that time again. It's uh, this week we're going to do a Cajun spiced uh, shrimp Alfredo. So we're going to go ahead and start off with uh, the ingredients. We have one cup of Parmesan, one cup of Asiago uh, Romano cheese mixture, one pound of uh, shrimp, one cup of yellow onion, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of seasoned salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of Cajun spice, one tablespoon of crushed garlic, and four tablespoons of softened butter. We have four cups of heavy cream and one pound of uh, diced mushrooms. So we're going to go ahead and start by uh, sauteing the shrimp and the onions. So let's go ahead and get this. Go ahead and add in our shrimp first. And we'll use about half of the Cajun spice on the shrimp. That's about half. We'll go ahead and start sauteing the shrimp. Uh, we got a good deal. A uh, good deal this week. Uh, we didn't buy the packaged frozen shrimp because the shrimp behind the uh, meat counter was actually cheaper. So uh, treat for us. Whoa! So we'll go ahead and uh, get these sautéed up, and then add the onion. Now that the uh, shrimp are pretty much done sautéing, we're going to go ahead and add the onions in. Mix that all around. It's already starting to smell real good. Shouldn't take any time for the onions, just until they turn translucent. And then uh, one thing I forgot to mention is the noodles that we're using are fettuccine noodles, and it's just a regular pack of fettuccine noodles. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start boiling them and preparing them already. Just follow the uh, instructions on the, on the package for the noodles. Now that our shrimp and uh, onions are done, we're gonna go ahead and add our mushroom. Our butter. Start stirring that in till the, well, we don't have to really wait until the mushrooms begin to soften, but it, it is a good idea. So we will uh, go ahead and mix these around until the mushrooms soften up and we will continue with the next step of the recipe. All right, as you can see, the mushrooms are starting to soften up and wilt down. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna add our heavy cream slowly. We don't want the cream to boil at all. We just want it to simmer. So we'll add about, about a third of it in. Start stirring it in slow. It's picking up the flavor from the bottom of the pan and the shrimp. And we'll add in the rest of our ingredients here, the garlic, the pepper, seasoned salt, onion powder. Okay, mix this in. The mushrooms are really starting to wilt down. It almost took up the entire pan and I didn't hardly take up anything. Oh, I forgot the rest of our Cajun spice. Give it a little bit of a kick. We'll go ahead, add some more cream in. All right, so 
So we've added about three cups of cream. Again, we're just gonna stir everything in, get everything incorporated. And we'll start adding our cheese here in a minute. All right, now that we uh, start to simmer, we're gonna start adding our cheese. So we're gonna do the one cup of Parmesan. We're not dumping it all in at once about half of it and we'll just mix it in until it starts to thicken up with with the cheese and the heavy cream all right and we stirred in some of the uh, other cheese mixture uh, and we're just going to go ahead and continue everything's melting in nice we'll add the rest of the parmesan and you know continue these steps it's better to uh, add a little bit of it at a time to get everything nice and mixed in than it is just to just throw everything in because then you get close. All right, we'll add the rest of our heavy cream. And continue to stir. Again, everything's melted in real good, so we're going to add the remainder of our cheese mixture and continue those steps. Once everything is melted in, we're going to go ahead and add the shrimp and the uh, onion, and then we'll uh, the, anything after that. We just wait for that pasta to be done, and then we'll uh, dish up and and do a taste test. All right. Well, welcome back. All of our cheese is melted in. It's got a nice creamy consistency, so we're gonna go ahead and add our shrimp and our onion. Just stir that in. So now all we have to do is wait for the uh, the pasta to, to finish, and we will add the uh, pasta to our uh, Cajun creamy shrimp alfredo sauce. All right, welcome back. Our noodles are finally done, and our sauce is done, so we're gonna go ahead and plate up. This goes well with bread and everything, but it's too many carbs for me anyways, so this is what we're gonna work with here is just the uh, pasta. We'll go ahead, scoop up some of our sauce, make sure we get some shrimp, ladle it over the top. I know this is probably not the correct method or the preferred method, but this is what how we're gonna go ahead and do it. It's a little bit easier for us right now. You know, get it nice and mixed up you see the mushroom in there you see the shrimp in there it's nice and creamy sauce so let's go ahead and we'll test up make sure I get a piece of shrimp in there That is very good. Um, instead of paying fifteen to twenty dollars for some shrimp alfredo at uh, your local Italian restaurant, I paid nowhere near this for this type of serving size, and I know exactly what goes in it. So, uh, yeah, this is probably one of my better recipes, and uh, I'm proud to share it with you. So again, if you try the recipe and you like it, or you want to leave a comment or subscribe or do any type of those, you know, number of things, please do so. And uh, as always, thank you for watching and God bless.